Greetings, nature lovers. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love. Yeah, I'm a little underdressed. It ain't that warm. Ah, much better. Now then, I feel it's about time to introduce my first strand to this show. Unfortunately, I'm going to be controversial again, because the first movie I've picked is... Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest. Released in 1992, Fern Gully is the story of a magical rainforest and its fairy inhabitants, whose existence is threatened by loggers, and the awakening of the spirit of destruction, Hexus. Panned by the nostalgia critic, in tandem with the nostalgia chick, does it really deserve such a bad reputation? Well, let's find out. Grab your umbrellas because we're heading to Fern Gully, the last rainforest. After a brief introduction, I was able to trap Hexus inside an enchanted tree and save Fern Gully. Which is why it is We meet Krista, a scatty tree fairy. Krista leaves her magic lesson to flirt with on-off boyfriend Pips. You know, you're spending more time with Maggie than you do with me. Well, what can I learn from you? Taking offense at his outflying her, Krista heads above the tree canopy. Krista, stop! Rushing back to Maggie Loon, matriarch of the clan, to tell of her find, Krista receives a lesson of her own. There are worlds within worlds, Krista. Help it grow. Maggie dismisses Krista's suggestion. Do you think it could be... Hexus? No, there isn't a force in nature that could release him. But there are plenty of forces outside of nature. Suddenly... Red light. Red light again. Oh, bless your heart, with magic light I give the gift of fairy sight! <gasps> oh, what a strange little bug. And so we are introduced to Batty Coda. <laughs> you can't tell, I'm a bat! <laughs> nice to meet you. Bonjour. <laughs> Now, I like Robin Williams, and I think he turns in a great solid performance here, but I can understand if you don't. Uh, look, a rapping bat! Batty tells of his experiences, through the medium of rap no less, at the hands of humans. Curious about humans, Krista heads toward Mount Warning. But on the way, she discovers red paint on a tree. It's here that we're introduced to city slicker Zack and the Leveler. Zack notices the enchanted tree and is bothered by a bug. But oh dear! While she's distracted by a tree felling, Zack catches Krista. But then... Look out! Bless your eyes with magic light, I give the gift of fairy size of sight! Rhyming magic. Ugh, that stuff is nothing but trouble. Believe you me, I know. Just as all seems hopeless, Batty rescues them both! Awakes to find a curious Krista standing over him. Are you alright? Huh? I'm fine. He's understandably disbelieving of his new situation and steps off the branch. 
right into a musical number. Check this out. Be dead. No. Be no. Be Stop it. Be Look, we're not doing a big lip delegator moment. Okay, we're just not. Now can we move on? Oh hush you. Krista explains to Zack about his predicament. I shrank you. Do what? And tries to rectify it. Oh, 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 oh. Big ear. Elf. No, no, oh. Oh, no. Any dude. Oh, orangutan. Okay, okay, let me get the. Oh, wait, wait. A duck. A duck. Oh, it's Darwin's grab bag. Hey, don't. What? I heard that with my bad ear. And so, human folly unleashes Hexus, the spirit of destruction. He directs the leveler to Fern Gully. And I want you there by morning. Hey, Tom, you know what this means. Yeah. <laughs> Buku overtime. <laughs> Cue another musical number. The sexiest villain song of 1992. <laughs> As night descends, Zack and Krista converse about their differing lifestyles. Cool means hot. What? Yeah. You know, as in... You are one bodacious babe. And that's good. I mean, cool. The next day, Zack and Krista make their way into Fern Gully. What is this place? This is Fern Gully. Father, I'd like you to meet Zack. Hi. He's a human. Pips finds Zack's lost tape player. And another musical number in shoes. It's a recording of music. I know what music is, and that is not music. Oh, that was fun. Anyway, on with the story. Zack and Krista get closer. Oh, my goodness. This song. You might be thinking life has passed you by. I guess I better go find Najee and get you unshrunk. There's no hurry. No, I promised. But oh dear, there's oil in the water. Oil. <sighs> the leveler. And when Krista goes to Maggi, she discovers that the leveler's been through here already. Humans did it. Humans did it all. The fairies confront Zack, and he comes clean about the destruction. I wish, I wish the human tales were true. They're not here to protect the forest. They're cutting down trees. They're destroying the forest. Maggie Loon marshals the fairies for an attack of creation against Hexus. Remember, all the magic of creation exists within a single tiny seed. She then gives herself to all the fairies. When it is shed. And if Zack can learn the value of nature, then maybe we can too. But there's no time to grieve as Hexus attacks. Hexus. Krista marshals her new plant powers to mount a defense. But her attempts at fortifying the forest fail, and they need a new plan. This is the last time I save you, human. No, no, Betty, Betty, take me back to the leveler. Are you crazy? That's lemming talk. Well, all right, Gummy. We're going to war. Yes, Batty flies Zack up to the leveler's cab. He looked like some kind of flying rat. Where he runs a gauntlet of knobs and switches to finish the machine.
But we haven't seen the last of Hexus just yet. Krista takes a seed and plants the fight back. And so the fairies of Fern Gully trap Hexus once again. But shock! Krista's alive! And her first act as new tree mother is to return Zack to human size. And so our movie ends as Fern Gully is regrown and the forest endures. So then, is Fern Gully worthy of scorn, or has it been unjustly panned? Personally, having not seen this movie for maybe 10 years plus, I can see that it has some flaws. The animation could be a lot better, the story is undernourished, and anyone who can't stand Robin Williams will flat out hate Batty Coda. But for all its flaws, all its rough, unpolished edges, and all its ecological prettiness, this is a sweet, entertaining movie. It got me through a very tough time in my childhood, and it does stand up to my critical adult eye. My verdict? It is time you gave Fern Gully another chance. You might just like it. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave me a comment or suggestion below. And join me next week for more fun and frolics. So long, folks.